So guys, this is the paper towel module. So we're going to be building this. Again, it's in a little box. It's got a bit of weight to this box. So lift them up in the bubble wrap. So well packaged. There's your dowel. Uh, piece there to cut. There's the cutting angle, which I might even put a piece of uh, um, saw on there, like um, like a hacksaw. There's the instructions, which is cool. There it is there. Oh, so you bend it to push it into the holes. That's fair enough. There's a back to it, which is simple. So basically, you're building another another square box like the module that we had before this time it will have um i think yeah just saying that i've not put any magnets in because i think it's easier to put the magnets in once you've assembled the module um so yeah we've got this knife and it's just uh cut through here again using the side of the the wood as a template you can feel when it's gone through so you push against the side and pull back one, two, there you go. So that's a nice clean cut this time. Again, on the side, pull. One, two, and back here. One, two, three, there you go. So that's all cleaned up. So there's the two bits. Uh, excellent. So we need to cut this piece as well, like we've done before in the other box on the module. So flat blade against and just Gently swipe through and it cuts through. There we go, there's the second one done. Third one. Cool. There you are. So again, I guess we do exactly the same. Looking at the instructions here, um, this one here, so these should be at the top, is that right? Let's have a quick look, yeah, and then I'm assuming that these stick on here as well, just making sure I get this right. That's side A. So you can see here, side A on the instructions, you've got that, that. Cool. I'm assuming that's right. It goes in there like so on the back end. Let's go on the top for the. So, yeah. So, firstly, I suppose then we need to glue that bit in there, I'm guessing. Um. Okay, so this must be here. So let's glue this up then, around the edge. If this is wrong, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. See the glue is just um, soaking into the, the wood. So that's top corner there. You can see A goes there. So that must fit in there, right at the back. Make sure he's level to the back. Make sure he's down flush to there. Make sure he's flush. Make sure he's flush at the back. And I think that's it there. And then this sticks on there. Okay, so we'll just leave that there to, we'll get this glued in proper now. So that there's no mistake. Let's get that glued in. Gives you an extra bit more support that does actually on this box. That goes in there. Give it a good old coating of PVA. Cool. And that slots in there. Perfect. Most excellent. Cool. 
Then we'll do the same with this one here. We need the other piece, which is there. So this time, that's going to go like that. Sorry, that's wrong. Uh, like that. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, that's the hole. And that goes at the back there like that. So again, it's a, a nice big dollop of PVA all over the board. You can see it is proper soaking this up. Whoops, it doesn't matter if it's falling down in a minute. Stay right. There we go. All covered. Great. And then in theory then, so that's up right there, that should go along the back here. Let's put them in and measure them up flat flush to the corners, flush to the bottom. Is that flush? That's pretty flush. Flush all the way around. Cool. Again, oh, just put some on the bloody. Probably this tray, the, 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 the um, where the glue goes on, where we've got the glue at the moment on that. Tray is just not deep enough. Keeps catching everything. Let's give that a good coat of PVA. Let's get a cloth and wipe this bit off here because that will just end up getting in the way. Then that one slots in there. So we've got the two bits together. Now we need to attach the top. Wipe this off this cloth. Cool, right. PVA on top, so it goes on here. Marvellous. A little bit on here. And then we'll just that bit there. And here. And on top of here. So both have had a coat of uh, PVA. And then we can stay, put this piece on. Like so. And come on, stick in there. Come on. In you get. That's him. Is he flat and flat? You flush and flush. We'll put this door in a bit fast. So I need to get that in there. Come on. And spread him a little bit. There you go. Oh. Well, that didn't work, did it? So he goes in there. So I need two hands for this. I need three hands for this job, I think. I wonder if I can do it that way. Get him in there. And lift him up. Maybe if we do it this way. Out there, that there. Hold him still. He goes in here like so in the hole. And then this can then attach... on top so he'll go in that hole there he'll slip in there and then this one will slip in there as well cool then i'm gonna have to try and tip him up straight careful oh look at the thought there you go that goes down there cool and we'll tape him up so he can't fall apart. The old masking tape job. Cool. That's how to tape him in. Or we'll mask and tape him in. Come on. Cool, cool, that's that bit done. Take them up and over now. Come on.
Ooh. So I was worried about it will stick out here. So with a glue on the edge again, just glue them in all the way along. Perfect. Nope. So the camera actually stopped before I even put most of this masking tape on. But now it's been left 24 hours. I'm going to take the masking tape off this uh, modular system, which is for the uh, towel, paper towels that I wanted for my workbench. Let's take off the tape here. And there you go. It's all coming off easy relatively easy I guess <laughs> let's uh, pull this bit here all the way down pull that off there we go and that's it or D taped and I'm pretty happy with the result. As you can see inside, there's the door there. It, it swings quite freely. And here is the rod for the kitchen roll. And I do have a, a little bit of a kitchen roll here. Little piece here, so I'll put that in there, in the hole. So it fits that kitchen roll. Basically what I've got to do is pull it out. And I assume you just, uh, you just tear it up. There you go, tears up and it rips off. So there you go, that's it, really. Happy with that. That's one more piece to my my new workbench. I've got another few more to build now, but we're getting there slowly, slowly. If you like this video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, and to be notified when I release a new video. Um, any questions, any comments, leave a comment in the box below and I do reply. Also, if you're not a channel member and like to be, like these folks here on the screen, you can uh, become a channel member by clicking join. And uh, membership starts from one ninety nine a month. If you want to see more of these videos of me building this modular system, click the playlist here. And if you'd like to see this all complete in my work area, on my workbench, click here.